Yeah, the question is, uh, you know, why are we so, as Protestants, so fixed on the idea that uh, the Scripture alone is our authority? Because uh, Roman Catholics say there's nothing in the Bible that forbids an additional authority. Well, first of all, that's an argument from silence. Uh, to say that you are mandated by something the Bible does not say is is, is really ridiculous. I mean, Because there's no end to what the Bible does not say. You could invent all kinds of things the Bible does not say. You can't use that as a basis for divine uh, authority. Um, the scripture, however, on the other hand, claims to be the only authority. I mean, you have statements, for example, at the end of the book of Revelation, that says if you add anything to this book or take anything away from it, shall be added to you the plagues that are written in it. That's pretty explicit. Uh, you have, I think, that wonderful statement in Jude, that this is the faith once for all delivered to the saints. You have, a, you have a faith packaged by divine revelation once for all delivered. It doesn't keep going and keep going and keep going. That is, that is uh, one of the severest errors in Roman Catholicism, is that they don't have any end to the true canon of divine revelation. It just keeps going and going and going, and that's their affinity with the charismatic movement, where you continue to have people having revelations and revelations and revelations and revelations. They too do not understand the uniqueness of Scripture. Uh, which I believe is the only divine revelation and, and authority for the rule and practice of life in the church. When tradition uh, contradicts scripture, which has the authority? Um, and the answer, of course, is scripture. And I think. Uh, Matthew 15 is a very, very important passage in that regard. Jesus indicts the Pharisees, and he makes a very specific indictment. He says, uh, you have substituted the traditions of men for the commandments of God.
that's exactly what Judaism had done. Judaism is a very, very uh, good parallel to Catholicism. Because there was, there was revelation there, Old Testament, but there was massive tradition there. And the tradition was used in two ways. It was used to add to the revelation and to interpret the revelation. The tradition would be the, the Mishnah, the codification of Jewish law, rabbinical interpretation, etc. So you've got this true revelation, namely the Old Testament, and then you've got this mass of material uh, which essentially sort of relates to the magisterium in, in Catholic tradition. It's this accumulated stuff that interprets the Old Testament and establishes tradition. And by the time you get to Jesus, the truth of the Old Testament has been totally obscured and lost in the confounding machinations of all this tradition. And essentially, that's what Jesus confronts. He says, you know, you've totally obliterated the commandments of God by your traditions. And essentially, that's what's happened with the Catholic Church.